the 16 of the 17 banners were in the Boston Garden. The 2008 banner was the first banner and the only one not raised in the old Boston Garden. And in 1995, when we had our last playoff game at the old garden, May 5th of 95, um, for a couple of years they kind of went into storage and then they were on display, not so much for the public to see, but our current team when we went to the uh, practice facility in Waltham. And that they were there till 2018, and then we got put back into storage because we moved into the new Hourback Center over in Brighton. And uh, now they've kind of been brought out of mothballs, I guess, or out of storage to be on display so the public can see them really up close and up front for the first time in a public setting outside of either the Boston Garden or TD Garden. Banners are meant to be hung, so what greater space here at the library than in the interior courtyard in the Boylston Street building uh, here at Copley Square? In the 50s, and when uh, Red Auerbach and Walter Brown came to a flag company called New England Flag and Banner, they had one made, and it was made of 100% cotton. That was, that was the material back in the 50s. Now, the more modern uh, banners we've had, like 2008 or others, that's a nylon component. Uh, that wears well, is better in the elements, things like that. Cotton was wonderful, but it was the only real fabric they had at the time to use. So thus, over time, um, if you remember the old, old Boston Garden, not, not the current TD Garden, the old Boston Garden didn't have the greatest ventilation. Public smoking used to be prominent till the mid, late, mid to late 60s till it was banned. So a lot of factors contributed to the, the basically the banners getting threadbare and worn out. So thus they had to be replaced. 